Hi, this is Rosalind Even we're looking at more inspiring art. And you can see where we got this image from is the Facebook. And it, the page is Art Galaxy. That's Galaxy with an IE on the end. See up here on the right. And that this is the artist here. So you can go and see more of their art. Okay. So you may have gathered, because I posted this yesterday, took it down, and will be posting this again. I made a boo-boo <laughs> in my analysis. Yes. So I added more uh, art images of this person's art uh, just to correct that. Because when I analyzed it and thought about it some more, I came to a realization. So here we go. I Moving this down, I did capture the image here and this is this one in the center here is the artist's actual image okay and I made alterations to it okay so there's the image now uh, you'll notice that the artist has a great challenge to face when doing an image like this why because you're limited in your palette when it comes to drawing and this is a drawing because you don't have the color there to work with you don't have a lot of the ingredients you do have three-dimensional shadowing and you do have the full range of dark to light and the extremes of that range being white to black okay so we have this as an ingredient obviously done superbly in this and the three-dimensional shadowing is done superbly we do have texture which is an as is another ingredient and it's working really well and you know there is lines here which were added in the in the hair and but even more so notice how the arms and the legs and the shadows create lines okay so um, we do have that as well and this is of course is the mid-range of light to dark here so mid-range colors normally and let me stress normally are more ignored unless the uh, anyway okay so n under normal circumstances this one is going to turn out to be different than that so let's just make these a little bit bigger so that we can compare a little better here. Okay. Now the reason why I've created these images, and yes, I am saying that I believe that this is better. Now we'll tell you why. Okay. When you look at the placement with the rule of thirds, what is the rule of thirds? Okay, here is an example. This one down here, rule of thirds. See these green lines? That's dividing it into three equal portions at the top, middle, and bottom, or in other words, the total is nine equal portions. So that's how you do that. You see? Okay. So let's put that one back. Okay, so if you're doing that to this image, you can see approximately that the head is on the upper third line. It's not at where the lines cross. See, where the lines cross is right there. See, that's a cross point. This here is a cross point. This here is a cross point, And that. So there's four in your equal nine portions. Those four are the main ones that if you put something in that area it's going to be the most exciting when it's in between and when it's out here is negligible when it gets close to here or right there it's very interesting and if it's in the middle here of the on the line in the middle it's not as exciting and and if it's inside here it's really a lot less exciting in the middle okay so here and maybe even out a little bit you know from that cross point is good okay that's how that one works we have talked about this in other video tutorials okay so let me say in this case that one would add another ingredient that could really help this out 
because what we've got here in terms of the quantity or mass of total mass of light versus the total mass of dark which is so small and the medium is kind of in the middle um, amount of mass white is still bigger than the medium shades in this color in this image sorry so being the smallest makes it the most precious so that's where we want to look so we want to look at the dark area that's that is opposing to where I'm assuming that the artist wants us to look which is here at the foot that is being drawn that's where I made my boo-boo <laughs> last time and uh, basically because what I did was I took the image and I increased the light space to make the dark space even more noticeable and I put the dark space on the third line cross point on the left top and side third line cross point to make this a stronger point of interest well that just even competes more now with the foot so that really wasn't good and that's the one that I posted yesterday was with this image and this image and but I was discussing about how the light I increased the light mass by filling it in with this more medium now this one even this one is better because it's um, adding to the medium which is here and the skin tones this adds to the medium mass so it it does increase your interest in the white now because the white is smaller and the dark is smaller so now you're wanting to notice the darkest and the lightest points so it is helping you know to some extent but it's still not good also notice how top heavy it is because of the positioning of all the area of interest being up here in the top when we talk about viewing windows in some of my other videos and the size and you know the effect that that creates well on YouTube my other videos on YouTube um, these here this here is too top heavy to be a really good image okay so let's move these out of the way and let's add the new stuff that I didn't have there yesterday also oh wait a minute I forgot this part okay notice how your medium is the medium range of skin tone and the shadow here that this is also pulling it off the page because it's too close to the edge of the page when it is attracting a certain amount of interest being a smaller portion than light so this is going to be like secondary areas of interest whereas the dark being the smallest portion is the main area of interest than any lighter but still towards the dark is going to draw more attention so that's not good having it go off the page okay and I did mention that yesterday okay so now let's look at this one okay I'll make that one a little bigger notice that I've flipped it see this one is facing this way now I made this one facing I've turned it so it's now the head is on the opposite cross point and you'll say well gee Roz why did you do that <laughs> okay well the reason I did that is because it is bringing when you look when you compare these two notice how this one being so top heavy now I'm the foot and leg is now coming down into this lower portion and so and I you know moved it down slightly so you can see that that is making your area of interest pulling it down a little lower into the image so it's a bit a bit more balanced but not to the point of being boring okay so that's an improvement as well so flipping that or sorry spinning that is making that better okay now we did the medium see how I filled the background in with medium light to dark so that it would downplay the medium because now we've got such a large volume a large quantity of medium shades not light not dark right okay so now where do you want to look 
Notice you want to dismiss the medium more. You want to look at the lightest and you want to look at the dark. Look what happens when we do that even more here. So I'll make this one bigger. Okay, so adding more space has helped because when you look at the proportions of busy to non-busy space, you're actually you're actually in increasing the intensity of interest of the viewer in looking at the busy area because there's so much non-busy space. Now that can work against you if you swing it too far, of course. That's why we talk about the quantities of the ingredients, how they work together, and uh, you know, this is all part of the Ra's method. So if you're talking to other, you know, art people and galleries and so on, don't expect them to know the Ra's method. It's too new out there for anyone to recognize what I'm doing and what I'm doing is different. Okay, because if you look at, uh, there's a, on YouTube, there's a person called the Art Prof. She is always recommending you get rid of any extra space. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Cut out all the boring space. Um, I, I'm afraid I tend to fly in the face of that kind of rule because the empty space makes you value the busy space or the areas that have something in it. So you have to get the portions correct. Again, anyway, okay, so downsize it just a hair so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so now you can see with the darker that it's, again, even more nullifying of this area in here. And now your area of interest is coming even further down in here. So now you're looking at the whiter and the darker area. And if we want to downplay this, because that is a competing area of interest, you see, because of the texture of the hair and the edges on it and everything and the darkness of it, those two ingredients together and being with the contrast of white right next to it, all those ingredients combine to make a really strong area of interest. And then what you end up having is a competing area of an interest over here because this is where the artist wants you to look. Now, note that here the lines of the legs and arms are coming down. Lines that are going up and down are not, and see even the shadows. Okay, the, the lines going up and down are not as exciting as lines that are on an angle. Notice how we have that added benefit now because lines are on an angle and it does make you realize and helps to point out that this is where the artist wants you to look when we place the image on an angle like this. It also brings a little bit more weight of the main area of interest mm -hmm. down here. So you get this sort of shape coming up like this when we talk about viewing windows you're looking at about like this area here okay so we're trying to nullify this a little bit by putting darker in the background creating darker mass we'll look at what happens when we do that with this last one you can see comparatively that the dark, the darker is really helping to tone that down. Now compare that to this one. You see how strong it is here because there's so little dark. Now look at how it's less strong of an ingredient here because we've created a lot more mass of it and that the white is becoming a larger area of, in of interest. Now unfortunately it's not uh, small enough <laughs> to command a huge amount of interest because now the medium shades of light and dark being the skin are becoming actually the rarer part and this is one of those more rare instances where the middle range and it's an oddity when this happens in art that the middle range is becoming more the area of interest because of what we did here with the contrast of light to dark and such huge volumes of it so now it does draw more of an because of the lines see being on an angle it is helping to draw you over to the foot also because the foot is on the cross points 
of the third line rules, which is the containment. How well is your main area of interest contained? When you look at my checklist of 40 ingredients, it's the contained, it's better contained here and it's in a good placement in composition. So you're adding this, uh, to the strength that it needs from the ingredients to become a more main area of interest. You do still have that. It is competing. The darker hair is competing with this, but this is really helping compared to here. So when you look again at the original, and I'm not saying the original is bad. I mean, it is inspiring. It's great. The artist did so many things well and to a superb level. It's just maybe the artist isn't fam familiar with these things that I have figured out. Um, I'm not as I'm not as good of an artist per se as I am an art analyst. I'm a practical art analyst. Okay. So yes, so now you've got this as becoming a much stronger uh, main area of interest than it was before. So you've got actually two areas of interest now and we are sort of looking at the gray zone you know the quantity of the gray zone so your eyes going to kind of wander around there as a third area of interest there isn't really one it's just kind of the sum total okay so i hope you found this to be informative and interesting and that you find the art from this the web page uh, on facebook there again art galaxy with an ie they have so many very inspiring and great artists on there, including this one. And that's why I'm pulling a bunch of art from there as examples. Because, listen, if people that are this good can still be improved, that what does that mean? That you guys out there should not be afraid of not being perfect. Because even people that are, you know, of such high caliber art there it can still be improved okay the even masterpieces okay so now that you guys aren't intimidated anymore if you're not perfect <laughs> okay uh, so this is my page on Facebook in case you're looking to find me and my site is the art advantage but it's also practical art analysis so if you put in practical art analysis and especially if you put in this link okay on facebook then you'll find me and also if any of you are interested and you would like to have your own analysis done on your work then you can find my price list there under services as well but we do post the videos there so if you're interested in looking at more of the videos and uh, being inspired and trying to uh, learn to understand what is creating these images to be so inspiring. That's what we're doing. And uh, it's very exciting seeing all this inspiring art that I love sharing with people. So uh, if you like it, then you can like the page. You can also like and subscribe uh, with the videos. And then I guess we'll see you next time and you can enjoy along with me. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.